Uh, someone's near you, I think. Yo! Yeah, right there. That's a full team. That's a full team. And I'm concussed. They got shields! They all got shields! Oh my god. What did we just run into? What in the modern warfare did we just run into? <laughs> hey! I'm sorry, I have to go! Ah! Go move! Oh, yeah. Drive! Oh, DK, go. Drive! What, Drive. Is he, what are they doing? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're gonna be talking about the final update in Season 4 Reloaded, the free camos you can unlock, and everything you need to know about the Terminator LTM. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure you have notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Cold War Year 2, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, and any other future Call of Duty as well. Now, as a bit of an FYI, this loading screen you can see in Caldera can only be seen if you own one of the Terminator bundles, and if you're playing as the Terminator skin as well, which is kind of funny. I was seeing this screen every single match that I played and just thought that that was the screen you get for Titanium Trials, but I wasn't aware that you cannot see this unless you are playing as the T-800 or the T-1000. Unless this gets changed in the future, then that's the way it currently works right now. It is a cutscene you have to pay for, which is pretty funny, but hey, the Terminator LTM, I guess that makes sense, right? So here's what you need to know about Titanium Trials, the limited time mode that got added to Warzone earlier this afternoon. So it essentially uses the same rule set as Iron Trials from Verdansk, and I think Iron Iron Trials even exist on Caldera. It was out a couple of months ago, but hasn't been in for a little while. There's boosted health. I know the Tempered Perk is really common to find in loot, so nearly everybody's gonna have it, right? If you open up one of the golden bunkers, there will be Tempered everywhere. If you find a golden key card and you're lucky enough to get to a bunker on time, there will be Satchels, Tempered. That's where you can get the best loot. But honestly, don't forget, there is a Gulag, right? It's not Resurgence by any means. You got one life and then boom, that's it. So prices are also very expensive at buy stations. I know loadouts were like 15k but if you're lucky enough and do contracts or there's a sale it can maybe drop it down to like 12 or 11 thousand things are expensive you have 12 ish days probably 11 when you're watching this video to play this mode and complete all the challenges this mode is also only available on caldera it is not on rebirth it is not on fortune's keep to make that very clear i'm also aware there are disconnecting errors on this ltm which is strange when we first started up our stream and we hopped on caldera even in the pregame lobby there was like 10 seconds left on the countdown and we disconnected so that got fixed rather quickly when a playlist update went out but we still noticed a couple of disconnect errors a couple of hours later so they're still present but not as bad as they were when the mode first came out a big tip as well is to grab contracts as early as you can in the game do not drop peak do not drop at what the hot drop is underneath the plane be very careful where you drop and just get as much money as you possibly can you're gonna want your loadout because the ground loot isn't very good a lot of cold war weaponry in the ground loot which is cool to see but the weapons just aren't as effective at all with the boosted health unless you're going up against some potatoes then then maybe you'll do some damage but other than that the ground loot just isn't the greatest so you want to get rid of it as fast as you can because I don't think it's possible to win a match with ground loot especially not that XM4 maybe with the Milano or something maybe there's a MAC-10 here and there but maybe if you get lucky and you find some redacted blueprints in the golden bunkers then you might be all right but the lotto is something you really want to go for in this mode and I also want to make clear if you guys bought both Terminator bundles you will not have received that exclusive blueprint just yet for buying them it does say in small print that you will not get that blueprint until season five so be patient for that hopefully the beginning of the season is when you get rewarded but i did get pressure today into buying both of them i was gonna buy at least one of them to really celebrate the launch of the ltm today but i'm like you know what i love terminator 2 it's one of my favorite movies of all time i just had to cop both so enjoy the gameplay with the beautiful mastercraft and even some of the other tracer blueprints that are a part of these packs also an fyi the free camels you can unlock and there's three of them the three ones that you can unlock through warzone today do not yet work in vanguard they're supposed to but when you go to vanguard they don't pop up in your creative class customization menu you so that also will probably be fixed by the end of the season hopefully sooner than that but as of right now it has been made clear the camels could be used universally on all vanguard weapons in vanguard itself and then warzone but right now you can only see them in warzone maybe when you guys are watching this video that already gets fixed i'll pin a comment down below if anything changes but here is the first set of challenges that you could see in your game menu right now we have one terminated complete one execution in titanium trials and the reward is a battle pass xp token so with that being said it's 
very simple. Down an enemy, finish them. You don't have to make sure the enemy is standing up by any means. They could be down when you do it, and it'll still register. Now, most of these challenges didn't give me a pop-up upon completion. They might have for you, but it just didn't for me. I don't know why that was, but you'll see gameplay pretty clearly of exactly when I do a certain challenge. I'll make that very clear, as you can see on screen. But the next one is Vel Live. Revive 10 players to Titanium Trials Endurance. And the reward for this one is a double XP token for your weapons. So this one also isn't bad. You could theoretically farm it if your teammates keep going down, but by the time you actually look at exactly how many revives you probably need, you'll likely have already done all of them just by playing the game. So if you're going to plan on playing a lot of this LTM, you'll just do this randomly if you're a team player. But theoretically, like I said, you could farm it if your teammates want to keep holding grenades or blowing up next to things, and then you can go ahead and do this very, very quickly. But the next one is Hasta La Vista Baby. The challenge is to win a Gulag five times in the Titanium Trials LTM. The reward for this one, though, is the epic Titanium Chrome Vanguard Weapon Camo. So so when this is unlocked, this camo will appear in the event camo category, to be exact, in Vanguard and Warzone. And this one isn't that bad. I mean, you could either plan on dying at least once a game, five games in a row. I mean, we got lucky on stream and went five for five. But keep in mind, if there is a jailbreak in the Gulag, it will still count towards the completion of this challenge, which is fantastic. So that helps out quite a bit. And the Gulag is a bit rough. I mean, there's a lot more armor and health as opposed to a regular Battle Royale Gulag, of course. And the weapons they give you aren't that bad. It's mostly pistols, but you'll get an amp. I mean, the sledgehammer is also a two-tap, so if you get lucky enough to get behind an enemy, then hit him twice, and boom, that should do the trick. But make sure you know the layout of this gulag before actually going in. But this one really isn't bad, and you'll probably get this done in no time. Especially if you just play five games in a row, you'll probably go to the gulag, at least in most of those matches. Now, the camo also doesn't really look that great. It's pretty plain. You can't really notice it. As you'll see, I put it on the Mastercraft and the MP40. I tried putting it on other weapons as well, so you can get a better example. But hey, you know what? It's a free camo. I'm a huge fan of unlockable and earnable camos that aren't the mastery ones and also ones that aren't available at launch. I love seeing post-launch camos throughout some of these seasons. Definitely something really cool to go for. I love the fact they're also universal as well. Now we then have the I'll Be Back Challenge, which is to achieve a top 10 finish in Titanium Trials. Now this one has a reward with an uncommon I'll Be Back progression calling card and you'll notice that the calling cards you get for some of these challenges all look relatively similar, but there's a reason for that, right? The show progression of how far you've gotten in this event, which is kind of cool, as you'll see on screen in a second. And a top 10 isn't that bad, but for a map like Caldera, I'll say this, it gets tough, trust me, especially because it's a quads mode, people are holding hands, people are camping in crazy corners, so just play slow, slow and steady wins the race, no need to really rush that much unless you're a fanatic, unless you have a VPN on or you're cheating, <laughs> I would not play too rough or aggressive here in a match of Caldera, right, just take things slow and just watch your corners accordingly. Now we then have, I know why you cry, and I guess you cry because you can't win a match of Caldera, right? <laughs> the challenge is to win one time in Titanium Trials, to get the rare I Know Why You Cry progression calling card. Of course, a quote from the movie. It's a bit of an upgraded version of the calling card we just went over with a Terminator there on the right. And winning a game is not easy. Not for the faint of heart. I mean, take things slow. You have about 12 days or about 11 when you're watching this to finish this event. Try to go for at least two wins a day. Take your time. Get a squad that you trust. Have communication. And again, take things slow. But the next one is win two times in Titanium Trials to get the I Sense Injuries progression calling card. So a bit of an upgrade from the last one with more Terminator on the calling card itself. Same rules apply here. Just make sure you're watching your back at all times. And look, I get it, right? Caldera is a bit of a tough map. It's huge. Matches take a while. If this challenge was for maybe Rebirth or Fortune's Keep, it would be easier to collect more wins over a 12-day period. But because the matches last so long on Caldera, you're kind of praying to the RNG gods you get into a good lobby where you're not seeing too many TTV sweats. Now, we then have the No Problemo Challenge, asking you to win three times in Titanium Trials. And like I said before, with the other two, it's not simple. And we have a bit of an upgraded version of that calling card with more Terminators here, as you can see. Look, guys, I streamed for, what was it, almost seven hours earlier. And, you know, we had a good squad. We had a good communication going. But in our first attempt on Caldera, we won. And then the rest of the stream was a bit crazy. It was a bit downhill for the most part with the kind of lobbies we were getting, with the kind of sweats we saw. But we still had fun. We got some great clips, great kills. We tried our best. It's not easy. If you can get at least two wins a day, like I said, you might be able to get those 20, which we're about to talk about later on in this video. 
But yeah, <laughs> be patient with it and get the best loadout that you trust the most here in a map like Caldera. But lastly, we have win four times the Titanium Trials to get a Battle Pass tier skip, which I know might not sound like a lot, but here's a reason why you want to do this, right? Upon completing all these challenges we just listed, you will then get the Ultra Liquid Metal Vanguard Weapon Camo, which is confirmed to be animated. And as you can see, there's an image of it on screen. Not many people out there actually have access to this camo right now, unless they've won four games today or they use the Unlock tool. But there is a reason to want to beat all these challenges, as I mentioned, right? You get an animated camo for free. Now, I know it's not exactly free because it's going to take you a bunch of time to get those four wins. I understand it's not easy, but try your absolute hardest. But that's not all, folks. Besides those challenges there, to get at least two free camos there, there is a secret set of challenges which you cannot see in your game menu, but were confirmed in a blog post by Raven earlier this afternoon. So there are four additional Titanium Trials victory challenges and a further three operator challenges if you are playing as a T-800 or the T-1000. So yes, to make things clear, three of these challenges we're going to go over do require you to own at least a T-800 or the T-1000 operator skins. First up, the thumbs up challenge. Win a Titanium Trials victory while dressed as a T-800 operator. We actually did that first try. We bought the bundle, played one game, and won as Arnold, which was fantastic. You'll get a legendary and animated thumbs up calling card from the very end of the Terminator 2 movie, which looks phenomenal. Now the next one is similar, the Cyberdyne system challenge requiring you to win while dressed as the T-1000 operator pack. So yeah, you could maybe choose to do one of these if you only own one of the bundles, but for those that own both of them, you are able to do both of these challenges. The calling card looks pretty cool, and again, for big fans of Terminator, you might want to go ahead and grind this event as much as you can over the next two weeks. We then have the Terminator challenge. Kill a Terminator operator while dressed as a Terminator operator. So this could go, you know, Arnold versus Arnold, T-1000 versus T-1000. Doesn't matter what it is. I don't think it has to be the opposite one. If it is, then correct me down below in the comments, but I mean, if that is the case, it makes sense, but I think it's fair if you just have to be a Terminator and just kill another one. I don't think it actually matters what character you are, but if you guys have different experience, then feel free to correct me down below in the comments. You get Legendary Terminator Calling Card, which is a scene from Judgment Day in Terminator 2 when Judgment Day actually went off and the world blew up. We then have All Be Back, win 5 times in Titanium Trials. You get a Legendary Player Title, win 10 times. You get Legendary Asa La Vista Player Title, win 15 times to get another Terminator Player Title. Title. And then lastly, win 20 times in Titanium Trials to get the Ultra Terminator Progression Calling Card, which is in fact animated and is an upgraded version of the other calling cards we went over in the base set that we talked about that are visible in game right now. But here's the thing, right? Upon winning 20 games of Titanium Trials, you will get the ultra rare animated Skynet weapon camo. Now, let me correct myself here. It doesn't even say animated in the blog post, but it says ultra, so it should be animated. I could be mistaken here, but unless somebody out there uses an unlock tool, then I'm sure nobody, and I mean nobody, has access to this camo as of right now. But this one does look sick, and I think it's definitely worth going for. I'm going to try to go for two wins a day to get this one unlocked, but... Caldera becomes time consuming. Matches do take quite a bit to end and you're just hoping for that potato lobby or a lobby where people lag out and you have an easy victory. This isn't for the faint of heart at all by any means. I believe there was a challenge similar to this in Season 2 where I wanted you to get like 25 wins of Rebirth Resurgence to get something. I forgot what the reward even was. And Resurgence is a bit easier. It was on a smaller map. But for this, this is going to take the ultimate grind. You're going to have to really get good at Warzone or have a good team carry you to get this one done. I get it. It's not simple. Now, to really wrap things up, I love events. Trust me when I tell you guys. I love going live, doing open lobbies with you and doing all the challenges live on stream with funny reactions, making clips out of that, and then, of course, making a video towards the end of the night. I love that tradition I've been going with, you know, over the past couple of years, ever since events really started in Call of Duty. But with an event like this one, I feel like, especially the fact that you can't even do these challenges in Vanguard, that's upsetting, considering how Cold War set the bar where you're able to do the challenges in multiplayer, zombies, or Warzone, or maybe you're rewarded for doing them in all three modes to get all the rewards. It's sad how Vanguard really hasn't gotten too many in-game events. There was the Christmas one, and then the Valentine's Day one. That was it. No St. Patrick's, no Godzilla, and no Terminator, which is sad. And also, Zombies got none of the events at all throughout the past couple of months, so hopefully Mono Warfare 2 kind of breaks that mold a little bit and brings us back to what Cold War was doing, where you can do the challenge in, let's say, multiplayer
player, Spec Ops or DMZ, and then Warzone 2 to get all the rewards or something. It's sad that for those out there that maybe don't play Warzone, but play a lot of Vanguard, they can't really do anything here, which is unfortunate. And I also think with how difficult it is to get wins in Caldera, it's a possibility that at some point in the future, they just drop the camel for free, like before Warzone 2 comes out, because obviously it'll be redundant in the next couple of months when those camels don't transfer over to Warzone 2. Or maybe they'll change it up where they say get top 5 or top 10 20 times instead of getting a victory. Or at least count a top 3 as a victory like the COD Mobile Battle Royale does it. Maybe it'll do that. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the final update here for Season 4 Reloaded? How are you feeling about the free camels you could unlock? And also what are your thoughts on the Titanium Trials LTM which only lasts another 11-ish days? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody.